It feels like time is suspended. For me, I'm without time. There's no routine and I'm lost in myself. A stretched feeling, long days and short weeks. I think I expected that time would go more slowly than usual. I set myself tasks and find I don't get them all done in the day allotted. With three kids at home, I arrange my day to keep in step with theirs. I can tell what time it is based on the way the children play. I can tell if it's outside time, if they need food, or if it's nearly home time. The regular things that mark the passage of a day, a week or a month are all missing. One thing I love about my home is the lemon tree that I can see from the window of my home office. It's been loaded with fruit for the past couple of months and the bright yellow lemons contrasting with the green foliage is so beautifully calming, like a still life painting. I love my home. It's small and open. It invites you to linger. It's a cocoon from the outside world. And I particularly love my special comfortable chair. One thing I love about my home is the way the sunshine streams in. All the different light patterns at different times of the day. And I'm very lucky and very blessed to have a home that I feel comfortable in and that I know I'm safe in. I never used to notice the view from our kitchen window. I look up into the camphor laurel tree in my backyard and it's so beautiful how it's etched against the blue sky. In my street, there are beautiful, towering old figs. Recently, one morning, there was a magnificent, massive moon. I love looking at the trees, people's gardens, the hopscotch drawn on footpaths for all to use. I love looking at people's front doors. I love windows and stained glass. What plants have they chosen? What spaces filled and what left? Around just about every corner, there is a treasure to behold. I love looking at the small things. Feathers on the ground, flowers, fungus and butterflies. I love listening to the occasional bicycle bell along the shared path across the reserve near my home. I love listening to silence. I realised I miss the sound of children's voices as they make their way to school. Now more people have been out walking and there are more, hello, from strangers. And their dogs. When I go out for a walk, I love listening to my daughter's footsteps. They have a special rhythm against my own. When I go out for a walk, I love listening to the different birds my favourite in the neighbourhood are the magpies, sometimes the cockatoos. But the kookaburras are the best. I 
Until we gather again, I wish you lots of delicious fresh fruit and veggies. I wish you treats to keep you going. I wish you as many chocolate covered strawberries as you can eat. Until we gather again, I wish you very happy grandparenting. I wish you fresh inspiration and ideas. Until we gather again, I wish you polychromatic musicality. I wish you listening a lot of beautiful music. Until we gather again, I wish you all the stars in the sky. I wish you lots of time in nature. I wish you many glorious sunrises with your toes in the sand. I wish you smiles and sunshine. Until we gather again, I wish you the brightest of bright pink days. I wish you rambunctious walks with the dogs. I wish you enriching conversations. I wish you happy long distance calls with special friends. I wish you strong, uninterrupted access to the internet. Until we gather again, I wish lots of love in your life. Until we gather again, I wish you loads of laughs. I wish you a daily source of laughter. I wish you some good laughs. A really good belly laugh. I wish you love and laughter. And belief in yourself. Until we gather again, I wish you hope and optimism. I wish you compassion for yourself. I wish you a sense of calm. I wish you strength to make the changes you need to make in your life. I wish you balance and order. I wish you the strength to rise above it all.